Are we live? Live. Good morning. Um, we're here in Seattle at the Fairmont Olympic. We are here for, well, this show called PAX. It's a, uh, it's a gaming show. Um, truth be told, I'm here because my son is here. Uh, my younger son, he's meeting some people that he's played games online with for two years. And this is the first time they physically met. So I'm here on a trip to Seattle. I don't know, just to be here. But to uh, give you a quick room tour here, we got a junior suite. Uh, no, I mean, it's nice. Look at this, check it out, it's nice. The bed, it's comfy. Yeah, this will do. I gotta do a jump test. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna jump on it. <laughs> but, uh, so we got bedroom. Got a little tiny living room here. Um, see the amenities in the bathroom. Got a nice fully stocked coffee. Looks like it's about done brewing my cup. Got mm. um, there's a mini bar. No good. <laughs> no good. Bad. Stay out of there. <laughs> Check out the bathroom. It's got a safe. Um, nice closet. A couple robes. Slippies. Slippies. This bathroom. Nice place. Um, got a shower, full tub. Mm. So, we're in Seattle. Um, tomorrow we have actually no plans, but um, I'm a rugby man and I have got friends. And uh, I think we're going to get up to some adventure, maybe some uh, sailing, go down the water. Get some good views and uh, it's clam chowder. It's Friday, so of course we're gonna do some clam chowder reviews and uh, get up to some Seattle adventures. Uh, stay tuned. Twenty-five dollar breakfast, fancy hotel, very nice, nice place. Place is pretty fancy, fancy, fancy hotel. Oh, view down the hall, this snazzy hotel. We're staying there, and we should be going down yeah. Yeah, downtown Seattle, down here in Seneca, staying in this fancy place up here, that one, yeah. Quick look around, downtown, we're up on 6th and Seneca, not bad. Heading down to the convention center. Beautiful day in Seattle, it's gonna be about 70. Stars and bars up there. Acts 2023. Crazy. Looks like it's gonna be kinda cool. today. Tabletop games. Let's go check this out. Check Thanks with frenemies. Seems about right for me. Cool mods. Boys and this stuff. Up here on the fourth floor of the Summit building. Max 2023. Pretty sure we started over there. Now up here. Capitan I 5 North. Right. Hey, look, beer garden. Hey, Mr. DJ, don't stop the music. I want to know, are you feeling the same way too? The Voodoo Ranger. Beautiful day here in Seattle. We're uh, out here in the garden. Just had a nice tasty libation. 
checking it out. I think we're gonna do Pike Market, of course. This is the summit building of the convention center. So yeah, PAX has been cool. You're into all things gaming, and this was definitely the place to be. Chowder, uh, first chowder of the day here at Pike Market. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of dill, which is which is good. Perfect chowder, no salt needed. Really good. Go Yankees. Yeah, because like the Pike Pike place sign is like right. Pretty good. Chicago Latino. Beef and banana. That's pretty young mm -hmm. Peppers, spicy beef. El Mercado Latino. Delicious. Pretty nice view. Looking out towards Al Kite Point there. Ferries coming across. Beautiful day here in Seattle. We're heading over on to Back in the post alley, I'm gonna go to Kells. Classic Irish pub. Kells. Some chowder here at Kells, got the soda bread. Let's give it a try. Brother Josh, you want to taste it? I'll give you a taste for And then you tell me if you want half or not. What do you think, sir? Okay. That's good. Not chowder there. It's clammy in a good way. Soda bread's delicious. Kells knows how to treat a French fry. Just a uh, order of fries with some curry sauce. This curry sauce is freaking delicious. But two cups of chowder in. Kind of had enough for a while ago to walk it off. So that chowder there. I like my potatoes like a quarter size and nice and al dente. That was that really good potatoes. So that was Kells here in Post Alley. Been since Seattle. I think I'm chowdered out for now. Watch you later. Okay. Can't be in Seattle without trying Ivers. This is the big clam chowder spot in Seattle. The Pike Place clam chowder. That was a line of like 100 people, so we didn't do that one. So, straight Ivers chowder. Here we go. Pretty good. Potatoes are kind of small, but. It's good clam chowder. I'll give you my final thoughts on my five clam chowders I had this weekend here once we finish up. Talk to you a bit. Yep. All right, everybody, we're uh, I 5 South headed home. Uh, just wrap up our little trip to Seattle. Just a comment on Seattle. It's Labor Day weekend, and we were staying down at the uh, Fairmont Olympic Hotel on 4th and Seneca, downtown Seattle. We walked all over. We walked to Pike Market. We walked down to First. We could have easily walked down to the waterfront. Um, and it was safe. I mean, obviously, you're going to see some of the stuff you hear about in Seattle, but we never felt unsafe. Um, lots of people out and about. It was good to see. And so we, we had a good time. Fairmont Hotel is super nice. Our room was about $350 a night. We had a... Uh, a junior suite um, but it was nice to be comfortable and the service was really good but it's a high price point so wrap up my chowder um, review I had five chowders and I'm gonna start from the best to the one I didn't like the most so 
my favorite chowder, which I'm glad to report is not Ivers, because if you watch my video about Oregon, Moe's, the big boy down there, was actually the best chowder. So, my favorite chowder of the trip was the Blarney Stone Pub down there by uh, Pike Market. Great, gritty pub if you're into just dive bars, which I am. Uh, but the food was top notch. The chowder had big, the bigger piece of potato. I, I, I like to be able to have a little bit of potato in my chowder. Um, no seasoning required. Uh, just an all around great bowl of chowder. After that, I wrote it down. It was Jack Seafood in Pike Market. Um, it's a classic seafood stand where you can order fish right out of the case. They fry it up for you. It's not the one where they throw a fish, but another great chowder. Um, that one had the dill touch to it, a little more dill, but it was delicious. Then third is Ivers. Ivers is the big boy. I mean, that's that's the seafood, acres of clams. Um, they're known for their chowder. Their chowder is, it's just what you'd expect from a big place, like a big a chain chowder. It's not, nothing special, delicious, but I'm just happy that's not the best one. Then after that, it was Kell's Pub down in Post Alley in Seattle. Kell's ch chowder was really good. Classic clam chowder. What was really good about Kell's though is they gave you two slices of soda bread with your chowder and that soda bread is really delicious. So that little extra touch, but my clam chowder, I gotta keep it, I gotta keep it real. So that's where that one falls in. And last was our hotel. We had chowder uh, for room service from the Fremont Olympic and it was just your average bowl of chowder. There wasn't a bad bowl. You know, I, I, I've i yet to come across, and I think I'm now in like 13 or 14 places between Oregon and Washington where I've tasted clam chowder. Someone's gotta do it. And uh, they've all been really good. What's your favorite clam chowder in the Northwest? Uh, drop in the comments, let me know. I'd love to go check it out. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap this up and uh, keep wandering around and uh, we'll see you on the next one.